Hey everyone, Mike or MTASH here, and today we're going to be talking about bullet efficiency and weapon commitment. So, this is a bit of a convoluted topic, so please try and bear with me. Focus on what I'm saying, not on the gameplay. So, we're going to look at multiple different weapons, what this means, and essentially it's going to show you why hand cannons are the top tier picks, and why something like Thorn is actually the best weapon in the game, and why so many people use it. So let's look, before we get into that, at auto rifles. So, auto rifles consistently are the, the worst gun in the game. Everyone says auto rifles suck, they're the worst. And the reason why is because they do have a pretty bad time to kill. And they take a little bit longer than everything else. But that's not the main factor. You see, with an auto rifle, every engagement you have is a full-on commitment. If you want any sort of reasonable time to kill, you need to be out of cover, holding down that trigger, and doing a constant stream of DPS. This means you aren't safe. You are out in the open, exposed. Um, for the most part, anyone who uses auto rifles, if you look at their stats, they have more deaths than everyone else. And the reason why is because not only are you having to be out in the open to get kills, a lot of people can, can just sprint past you and run past you, and you're not going to kill them in time. And there's so much outplay potential when you use something like hand cannon against someone who's using an auto rifle. I can pop in and out of cover, put one shot on you, dip in, you know, behind cover, pop out again. And I've got, if I've got two shots on you, I've done 150 damage plus, maybe even two, 200 damage on you with, with Thorn. And the auto rifle user has done like 40 damage because the bullets are taking just as long to get to you and register on you as someone that's using the hand cannon, but they don't have that, that kind of quick, high impact uh, efficiency that a hand cannon has. So comparing those two weapons, it's tough. I mean, they're completely different classes. Obviously, that's the case. So let's, let's move to something that is a little bit more fair. Let's look at the last word and thorn. So the last word is the 1v1 king for the most part. I don't think there's any weapon that is better than the last word for dueling potential. Someone's running at you with a shotgun, last word is the answer. But if you've ever watched a last word user play, if you've watched the engagements, 99% of the time they aren't undercover. They are out in the middle of the map, exposed, and going for a full-on auto pulling that trigger duel. And this is where the weakness lies in Last Word when compared to something like Thorn. They're both killing machines, but I would bet you, I would, I would bet you that if you looked up the stats of all the people that have the most Last Word kills in the world, they also have more deaths than the best Thorn users in the world. And the big reason why is that bullet efficiency, that commitment. Even though, you know, they're both hand cannons, Last Word does less damage per bullet. If you use it as a regular hand cannon, just popping in it on a cover, this thing sucks. Like, it's probably bottom tier. Where Thorn, you can pop in and out of cover, put those shots on, be at no risk of dying, and for the most part, you are annoying to the other team because you are causing so much damage, so much stress on the team, and you can't even be countered because of how safe you are popping in and out. Now, this efficiency also applies to things like a pulse rifle, and why I personally don't like pulse rifles myself. I get they can be fantastic two-shot killing machines, but one of the issues I find with it is if someone is strafing, if you're strafing, if they're jumping, you can get the unfortunate situation where you're going to hit them in the body with one of the bullets and it's going to raise your time to kill dramatically because you have to take one extra shot. This is bad efficiency for a weapon. When you shoot one bullet with a hand cannon, you have one shot, one second, all the damage up front and personal, you know, it's already there. You've committed to that one shot and you've gotten the full justice of it, the full efficiency of it. But with a pulse rifle, you have to wait around. You have to wait around and see if you're going to get that two shot kill or if you got to pull the trigger again. And, and things like that aren't good for competitive weapons. Now, let's take a break from that and watch me get decimated here. Don't do that. Don't pull a Blade Dancer into the middle of a team like that. Anywho, if I was to give one more beautiful example that I think a lot of you can relate to is machine guns and rockets. So, how many times have you used machine gun and then died to a last word? Or anything? Because you were committing to a fight and you were outdueled by someone with a primary weapon. Ever had it happen? Ever get pissed off at it? 
Yeah, me too. The reason why is because with a machine gun, even though they're great and you can get a bunch of, of kills with them, you have to commit to the fight. You have to expose yourself and put yourself at risk. But if you use something like a proximity rocket, you can shoot it once, kind of forget about it, dip behind cover, get the kill, and you've got the full effect of the rocket in one millisecond. Same idea with a hand cannon versus um, an auto rifle sort of thing. Anywho, if you have any questions... Did I say anywho twice? What's wrong with me? It's not even a word. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Watch me snipe. And uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below, my friends. Uh, that's about it. See you later. Bye-bye.